Welcome Capricorn. This is going to be your love reading for April. Hope everybody is doing well. Okay, it looks like you may be in a conflict with somebody here with that five of swords, something feeling unfair. Um, I feel with this seven of rings, there is an energy of not investing anymore in a situation due to this conflict right now. Six of Wands is showing a lot of recognition and advancement right now too. So that's amazing. With the um, Ace of Swords in the reverse, there is a need for more clarity because something seems a bit foggy within this situation. Just needing more like clarity over this Five of Swords. So before even um, investing anymore in this energy or this situation. All right, we have the Page of Cups and the will of fortune someone is definitely feeling a change in this connection right now okay the ace of wands is showing in the challenge something happened pretty quickly with the nine of swords or someone was very impulsive in their mind they're not sure what's going to happen next they are feeling like they're in the dark about something here they're interesting about the emperor coming out. There is a choice coming in in the near future here, Capricorn, which is so interesting because something here their feeling is changing. Before I get into clarifications, I just want to mention, let me fix that really quick, sorry guys. I just want to mention one thing. The Ace of Wands is the issue in this connection. There is a, it's like the, the fire is out, the chemistry, the, there's a block within intimacy or new beginnings. Okay, so something here about this Ace of Wands is coming in so let's go ahead and clarify for you wow the ace of cups with the will of fortune in the reverse so the will is coming in here you guys very very strong now when the will of fortune is in the reverse this is questioning a lot of things uh, in your energy feeling uncertain feeling stuck you may feel that things are pretty stagnant right now um, or there's like a resistance of things moving forward. I feel like you are open because we have the Ace of Cups here of the possibilities of love, but something is feeling a bit stuck. Interesting. We have the Knight of Cups. When we have the Knight of Cups, this is something to real, like this can be a bit of a red flag. If someone's not really showing you their true self or their true emotions here, it's like they're, they really don't know how to be themselves um, in this situation, but it is coming up as player-like energy. Also, this can be somebody who is just emotionally unavailable to where it's hard to have an emotional connection. I feel like this person is stemming from a lot of emotional wounds or insecurities at this time to why I don't know, because change is coming in and that 10 of wands is showing like, they're, they, they're giving up on something here. Are there, this is so interesting. It's like, this is a very difficult situation or whatever the, this change is that they're feeling, it's difficult for them and their mind is very cluttered. They're not able to see very clear. 
It's just showing a lot of difficulties in their energy. The challenge is to see what's behind the veil, what's behind the scenes. So I feel like you're uncertain to invest in a situation because it's of the unknown. There's something hidden that you feel is hidden, but not quite know what it is yet. That's why I feel like where's that clarity, right? So the moon can bring in like your intuition. So you're feeling something, but you just don't know what it is yet. And it's before even putting any more effort into this energy. Wow, something must have closed out here in the world card. Remember, the world is all about closing out a chapter, hitting major milestones, trusting your wisdom and in, in, in the experience you gained along your journey to make these choices in your life. So really, the cycle, something's finishing. Now, this could be this connection is closing out, or this can be you closing out a cycle about yourself, of, of, of things that you know, like a chapter about how you viewed thing or perceived something. But it feels like the new beginning came in. But now it feels like confusion. There has been a lot of struggles and connections I see with the Ten of Cups. There's that moon. This person has the moon in their mind. I feel like they're hiding something. They feel in the dark about the situation. Looks like they are withdrawing though with that hermit. They're trying to find the answer and they're trying to go within about a situation, about the situation. They feel still conflicted. So what I'm getting with this Nine of Cups is that when a challenge happens, it looks like somebody may be giving up a bit too soon because they don't know how to manage their emotions, so they go possibly back to old patterns. The Five of Swords, again, is coming out, so this could be a feeling of guilty to where they're shutting down and, re and re withdrawing here due to their deceit or deceitful strategies or something here too, because the Knight of Cups is coming up a lot. I mean, this is a very romantic flirtation type of energy. So to have it come out in the reverse, it feels very closed off and uncommittal, but they're conflicted about something here. A lot of uncertainty. We have this beautiful hierophant energy you're on a very spiritual path you're coming up very vibrant and with the six of cups something could be triggering or coming back okay so six of cups can be triggered by old memories or traumas okay due to someone's current actions so something here could be like bringing up old things or things that, not old things, but things that could be a, a trigger for you that can bring up past situations. The Hierophant is saying that you have a lot of wisdom. You're basically a spiritual teacher from all the challenges in your life that you've been through. You have gained so much wisdom and growth from. There is feeling stuck and at a crossroads where you're feeling like you're needing to make a choice, but this energies comes through with the knight of wands and the knight of wands is more of this fearless free-spirited um courageous energy that wants to take action that is driven by passion so there is like a sense too with the 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 knight of wands can be difficult to commit to somebody here too but there is like a choice here you're on a you're coming up as the hierophant that's like a teacher here capricorn a spiritual teacher outcome is making a choice but due to this person's in and out energy it does feel like something's triggering your intuition
you're rising above in rising above something here you're starting to see clear on what choice to make as we have the lovers in the reverse now you are free to make any choice you want but due to the the moon like spirit here when we do the cards the challenge is there's so much uncertainty there's so much hidden someone's not being open someone's not being their real self we can't really force somebody to do that right so with the lovers it's stating that you're starting to see clear like even though it hurts this lovers in the reverse is saying that there's a possible uh, separation ahead due to what you're seeing from this connection okay nothing is set in stone but it is showing that you are seeing you are uh, making a choice in the outcome to possibly keep your distance or to kind of withdraw yourself from this person due to how they're behaving and how they're acting because you are open to love finding love wanting a new beginning or just being open and you are a very lovable person yourself you know what you can give here We have the seven of swords, which is imposter syndrome. Also, this can be a confession in some way. When the seven of swords comes out, there is somebody that is, you know, wants to tell the truth, but they could be keeping a lot of secrets, you know. Um, but the eight of cups is also represents somebody wanting to make a U-turn, wanting to come back. Uh, but that's for some. As to why I feel like maybe you do give this person a chance, you start seeing this all over again. From what, But what I'm seeing is that this person is very stagnant and conflicted. You will find out information. Your intuition knows the truth. We have the Ace of Swords and the Page of Swords. It may be kind of hard to walk away, but there may be like, too, with that Page of Swords, some something here that may have triggered you or said something or you found out something and your high priest the high priestess at, or found out a secret in some way but the high priestess is saying your intuition was basically right all along um, so it's very important to listen to that because you are coming in very wise you're coming up also with the Queen of Wands, which is showing a very confident, energetic, loving energy. This is you knowing your self-worth once again and operating from that. Um, it's very infectious energy. It's very beautiful. It's vibrant, it's radiant energy that you're coming up with. This Ace of Wands is coming up in the reverse, though, which is showing me, even though this may feel like a rejection because of their behavior and their and how they're acting, this is you operating from your highest self uh, with the wisdom that you do have. So by setting boundaries or just by letting things kind of show you instead of forcing things, uh, you're allowing someone to show themselves to you which is the Ace of Wands, can feel like a rejection, but it's not. It's just this person is not, um, I feel emotionally mature with that Knight of Cups and maybe a player-like energy to where they have not um, grown out of these patterns uh, that you may be seeing here. So I don't see it's a rejection. It could feel that way, but it's just like this person's not wanting to grow in some way it feels like there's a lot of things that they're hiding and not being open about and that seems like their own issue here but i love your energy okay i really do let's grab some um hidden truths i regret lying to you you and i were too young again this can resonate with some of you not all of you somebody could be regretting lying to you especially with that five of swords i don't know capricorn i feel like you're not really um investing any more emotions with this energy we do have i love you so again take what resonates with this reading 
Wow, very interesting. I do see past and I do see you trying uh, rising above this and not really investing as much emotions because of so much that was hidden. That's really all I, I can see here for you, okay? We have reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. Look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. All right, Capricorn, I'm going to go ahead and leave this here for you. I hope this message helped um, and brought clarity. I feel there's a lot of big choices ahead that comes with uh, you getting the truth and getting more clarity for yourself, which helps determine on if you want to continue to invest or not. And due to this person's actions, it is showing that, you know, it's most likely you not wanting to move forward just by more how more things are going to be unraveling for you in some way okay so remember i'm the messenger don't get mad at me <laughs> when i do these readings but i hope it helped in in confirm some parts of your situation and helped you because that's what these readings are for so i'm going to go ahead and leave this here again if this helped in any way please like and subscribe and i will see you guys very soon god bless